I always downplayed my asthma growing up uh, because I didn't want to scare my coaches from playing sports. I didn't want it weak. I, or, yes, or be looked at as weak because it was something that hindered me tremendously. You know, one thing on the basketball uh, court, I used to tell my coach, he'd be like, gosh, Chris, I just put you out there. You tired already? Can't breathe. And my excuse was, man, I'm working harder than everybody else. I was the guy that just stayed away from sports. I was like, I'm not even touching that. I'm not, <laughs> I stayed away from cutting grass. I got out of a lot of chores. Yeah. <laughs> but I will say like the older I got, I really didn't want it to, because as a career, I, I didn't want to affect my career. This, this easthma.com, this is a, this is a, and I love me some free, this is a free blood test to help us find out if we have this specific eosinophilic asthma, because then you can get more of a personal treatment for what you need, which is crazy. I didn't even know about it. I played uh, over 10 years in the NFL, and my first few years, uh, wow. it was a, a huge issue. Every time I would run the ball for a long run, I would be out for like almost two quarters. Yeah. I'm, I was on a first name basis. The, the EMTs were on my Christmas list because I would rush over there. I have the, I have my wow. inhaler, the oxygen mask, right. and it seemed like the treatment of yeah. asthma wasn't widespread among doctors. Like they was right. just like, oh, give him his inhaler. Is the message getting across nationally about what you guys are doing now and what the medication and how far the medication has advanced? Right, right. You know, so that's why we're doing this campaign um, to get that message out because you're absolutely right. 25 million Americans suffer from it. And you'd mm. be interested to know 10% of Olympic athletes have asthma. So I tell that to my uh, children patients as well, saying, you know, this doesn't have to hold you back. You can right, dream right. of being a pro athlete. You can do it, but you have to work with your doctor. And that even underscores the need that, you know, if your asthma is under control, you'll be a better athlete. Right? I definitely use it to get out of chores. You know, a few times when I wasn't even sick or nothing. I'm like, I can't oh, breathe. Oh, we had kids that would say, I have exercise induced uh, asthma. And I'm like, I'm not a doctor. Is that, is that a real thing? It, or it is. is. Yeah, it so is. You, you like, learn a lot. So what's the website again? Can you tell our viewers? exercise. Right, right. What's that website e -asthma again? Easthma.com. Easthma.com. All right. Thank you. thank you guys so much. Sorry, we just had a lot of questions. Hey, thank you guys so yeah, much I, for I, having us. No. I'm going to have to hit you guys up personally because <laughs> my road with asthma is is intrigued yeah. with, like I said, many different inhalers, the spacer chamber, yeah. all the little yep. gadgets throughout history. I'm like, that didn't the work. Q -bar, that didn't the Q -bar. Q -bar. Thank you guys so much for informing us. Thank we really you. enjoyed you Thank guys. Thank you so much. Right. Thank Thank you. Have a good day.